Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to import, download, and create custom brushes. Let's start with, how to import brushes. To import a brush you should have the brush saved on your device. You can find plenty of brushes, online. For brush imports, you have to remember two file types, first, PRZP, which is the native file type for brush packs, and PRBR, used for individual brushes. Click on the three dots located at the upper right corner to open the menu. Click on the import button and select files. Locate your saved brush pack file and click, done. Your file will be imported, and you can find it in the paint menu, at the top of the folder column. When you open the folder, you can find all the brushes of the brush pack. The procedure to import an individual brush is same, except for the file format and location. Imported individual brushes are located in downloaded folder. Now let's download some brushes. Infinite Painter has a really great feature, where you can download brushes from the Infinite Painter community. These are the brushes created by different users. From the paint menu, click on the plus sign, then select community button to open brush options, you can download any brush that fits your requirement. To download the brush, click on the desired brush. Once downloaded the brush will be available in the downloads folder on the paint menu. You can then edit, rename, share or delete this brush. Finally, it's time to see how we can create our own custom brushes. There are three different ways to create your own brushes and we will see them one by one. First, we can create a brush with the things already at our disposal. This brush can be a texture brush or a solid brush. All you need is a head image or a texture image. You can go into the dialog box by clicking on the plus sign from the paint menu. You can access the head options by clicking on the head section, this gives you pre-installed head images. You can also import head images from your saved files by clicking on the plus sign. By default, the head shape is circle, so you can leave the head image blank if you don't have a specific image in mind. In this dialog box, you can name the brush and its preset type. To apply texture to the brush, click on the texture section, to select the desired texture or import the texture image. Click create to make the brush. After that adjust settings to get the desired effect. Remember that the more high quality the head or texture image is, the more precise effect you will have. So if you are importing a texture or head image, import a high quality large image. Now let's see, how we can convert our own drawing into a brush. Draw whatever you want as a brush. You have to keep in mind, that lighter colors will be more visible than the darker colors, or you will have to invert the image afterwards from the settings. Now select the image you have drawn and turn off the background. Click on the Create Brush button from the ribbon to define head image. Create Brush dialog box will appear. Select the type of brush style, name it and press Create. After that adjust settings accordingly and save. Remember to check if head image is inverted or not, if not make sure to invert it. As I want my brush to be a scattering brush, I will also increase spacing and apply continuous jitter. And save it again. Your brush will be available in the created folder, there will be few copies with different settings, so you can try out what suits you the best. You can also make a brush from an image, you just have to import and select it, after selecting press brush create from the ribbon at the bottom, rest of the procedure is same as the previous one. If you have any problem creating a brush, let me know in the comments section below. I will try to answer as much as I can. That's it for this video, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe.